Here we go with the newest Geek Fuel EXP. I think this is the version six. Looking at the app right now, I think this is version six. Obviously, whatever I title this thing will be the newest version of it. This is a quarterly box. This is from the last quarter that I have now. This box is, I think, around like 50 bucks for this box. They guarantee you $100 back in value. And this could be all kinds of stuff from t-shirts, collectibles, apparel, exclusive stuff, pop figures. I mean, I've got stuff in the past in this box. I think it's been pretty, pretty, pretty good stuff. I've been having this box for, you know, 50 bucks. And I actually... Uh, I think I subscribed to actually do a full year of it, so I got it coming every quarter, four times a year. So here we go with this one, Geek Fuel version 6 maybe, version 7, some, something like that, version 8 maybe, version 5. Whatever I title this thing, that's the version. Here we go. Top, I'm going to have the cheat sheet on it. Yep. This had the cheat sheet at the very end. We will peek inside of this and see, make sure we got all, all of our items. Make sure we got everything we're supposed to have. There we go, feeling around. Uh, I feel some soft, it feels like kind of like a, uh, a throw, a cover. T-shirt, let's do t-shirt first, do t-shirt first. Ooh, cool, it's black. I'll show the camera first. And we have, Oh, nice. Wolverine. That's a cool looking t-shirt. See, they got, yeah, they got the man size. That's a cool looking t-shirt. That is nice. Wolverine. That's actually a pretty cool graphic on it. Black t-shirt with a white graphic of Wolverine. I don't really know what to say about this shirt except for, yeah, this is very cool design. Like, I've always been pleased with the t-shirts in the Geek Fuel EXP boxes. T-shirt designs have been very very much my style of t-shirts that i wear so yeah i like that that first shirt this by itself is probably like 25 bucks in stores you know for a graphic t-shirt that that kind of like that 25 bucks right there here we go next item let's see here's something a little bit smaller what is this uh, whatever it is it's kind of crunched it is edward scissorhands look like this this is edward Looks like he could have gotten out uh, Edward, Kim, Joyce, or Peg. There's the back of it. And of course, there's the front again. This is the company Pen Pals. I'm sure this had probably a little bit of value to it. I actually, this stuff like this, I don't keep this kind of stuff. Like this, I will sell. Being a little bit damaged for inbox collectors, this will hurt value a little bit on this thing. But honestly, I bet you I sell this thing for 10 bucks. I bet. I probably could, but yeah, I won't keep that. That's not, that's just not, not my style, the stuff I keep. Next, it feels like something. Oh, that's, wow, that's kind of cool. We have an officially branded Nintendo Entertainment System NES key ring. Looks like the old Nintendo NES controller. It's all silver, it's all like chromed out. I bet you this thing probably sells for 10, 15 bucks, I bet. We're gonna find out really fast. Some of the stuff has some pretty good value to it because some stuff in these boxes I don't keep, I choose to sell them. And sometimes you're shocked at the value of this stuff. So on eBay, sold listings. Well, if I can do it right. Sold listings, like nine, nine to $10 shipped. So after shipping fees, you can make like five, six bucks off this item. Okay, honestly, I, mean, I won't keep this. I don't use key. Keychains on my key ring. It's ultra cool though. Like I do like it, but um, um I'd, I'd rather sell as someone else have it who would honestly use it. Next time, let's get this big thing out. We got a big thing. We have a throw. Oh, power blanket, cuddle power. What? That's interesting. So the old Nintendo we had uh, what's it called the power pad, where you'd use that to play like uh, the game Track Meet. And uh, this blanket will look like the picture right there. The power blanket, Cuddle Power. That's kind of cool. This item, I bet you this thing probably sells for 20 bucks, I bet. Let's find, I'm kind of curious, we're gonna find out. Okay, eBay sold, 15 bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. So about 15 or so dollars for this item. That's not bad. Um, honestly, I probably won't keep this because I don't really use a whole lot of this stuff, and I already have several, like, throws that we use around here, so I don't need another one, honestly. But, I mean, it's kind of cool. Let's see, next item. 
I don't feel a whole lot left in here still. We have a uh, Team Recoil downloadable Steam game. Geek Fuel exclusive download, $14 value. Like this stuff I sell. I don't play a lot of these games. So actually, honestly, most things from this box I'm going to sell so far. I'm going to keep the t-shirt though. Everything else though, I am going to sell because I don't really want it. And then we have, what is this? $25 off your next Sideshow order. Oh, nice. So the company uh, Sideshow Collectibles, who does lots of very high-end figurines. I have a promo code for $25 off my next order. Nice. I can't show the promo code because, you know, it'll get used, but that's nice. A nice little, little throw-in right there. Then we have, what is this? Star Wars. Collecting a Galaxy, the Art of Sideshow. This is like a very thick, very heavy book. Um, Sideshow Collectibles makes a lot of very high-end toys, lots of high-end figurines and kind of like statues. This is the book of a lot of their stuff in there. I, once again, I actually won't keep this book. Um, I mean, because it's more if you like looking at the, the pictures of how people pose their figurines. A lot of people... They take their sideshow like figurines and they they uh, or like like they're called hot toys and they can pose them to look like movie poses. Pretty cool. I'm actually gonna see how much thing sells for because honestly I won't keep this. So this book on eBay. Wow. Wow. Sold for thirty three dollars, twenty five dollars, twenty two dollars, thirty four dollars. Wow. So between like $25 and $35 for this book. Dang, yeah. I'm selling this. So that's at least like $30 right there. That's actually a pretty good item in that box. I think that might be it actually. Yep, that is it. Then that the side of this thing. That's what it looks like. So let's see the cheat sheet. Let's make sure I got everything I was supposed to get in this box. Okay, there is cheat sheet. Says you've got the Star Wars Art of Sideshow collectible book. Um, that's actually, that's the best. I, oh, oh, there you go. Volume 7. This is Volume 7. She looked at that right there, right? Volume 7. So that's the book. That's the best item in this box. That's sold for a good 30 bucks. I could get 30 bucks for that. So I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. It says we're supposed to have a Game Boy metal keychain. Mine wasn't a Game Boy. Mine was an NES controller. So mine actually was different than I was supposed to get. Yeah, it's supposed to be perfect for lovers of retro gaming. The Game Boy 3D metal keyring is a fantastic accessory. It's great for use as a keyring or a bag charm. So I guess they must have run out of Game Boy. So they substituted with the game controller, which you know, totally fine. Even though Game Boy probably actually has more value to it than this one. That's okay. We got the pin. We got the blanket. And then, uh, of course, that Steam card. So, value-wise, what I think of this box, um, value in this one is not as good as past boxes, to be totally honest with you, completely honest. It's still more than what I paid. It's still more than what I paid. Like this book, I'm going to give you actual values of what things would sell for, okay? 30 bucks. I can get 30 bucks for this book. 15 for this, so right there is $45. This one, after shipping, would be like 5 bucks. So right there, so these three items right here paid for the box in terms of value i can resell these and get all, all my money back everything else is free this you know i can get like 10 bucks for this this item is going to be about 10 10 bucks if i sell this the t-shirt i'm actually this is one thing i'm actually going to keep as a t-shirt from from this box this t-shirt is probably 20 bucks so 50 70 90 honestly resale value of everything in this box is about a hundred dollars so they actually it was guaranteed to be $100 of value, and resale value is actually about $100. So they met guaranteed value. There's been some boxes in the past that had better items in them, in my opinion, because I kept more stuff. This one, I'm going to keep one thing for this entire box, which is totally fine. I can keep this, sell everything else here, get all my money back, plus make maybe 20 bucks, and get a t-shirt for free. So it's still a bond. Like, I pretty got this shirt for free and made a couple bucks. So how cool is that? So... That's the nice thing with some of the mystery boxes that you can buy them 
And sometimes you can sell the contents and make more than what you paid and keep an item or two. It happens. So that's what we got. So the Geek Fuel EXP Volume 8 will go on sale. Probably right now it's on sale. So check it out if you want to get one. I'll see you next time. I'm out.